Hey guys, this is Mandy and I'm here with my sis Laura. What's up? Yes, and we are back with another double rant. You notice this time we are outside. You will be seeing a lot more rants outside from us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Look at my camera. <laughs> anyway, you want to tell them what we're ranting about? Okay, so the way we're really doing it actually hit me as inspiration, kind uh -huh. of. Because when I was watching a video on YouTube, there was a girl talking about college. So we're going to rant about college and how it's not for everyone. That's true. I am a prime example of that. For the simple fact that um, when I was going to school and things like that, my mom would put me from school to school to school to school to school, and I had no time to have my own vacation. I went to public school, junior high school, high school, and college. One after, one after the other. One after the other. So, you know, my mother kept me in school. And after living with my baby for a while and having this conversation, I realized that that is the truth. College is just really not for everybody because my mind was still on summer vacation and I was going to school straight. And I was mostly, I admit, I hung out most of the time. And there's times I didn't want to do no homework because I got discouraged because I, I suck in math. So I completely gave up and my mind was just mostly on vacation. So, you know, some people, you got to have the mindset to want to do it. You know what I mean? That you gotta, is, you gotta that have is that true. Mindset. Yeah. You got to be willing to do it and just say, Say, okay, I'm gonna go to college to get this thing done, but make sure that's what you want to do. Thank you. You gotta make sure, not because somebody pressured you to Thank go into you. college. Thank you. You, mm -hmm. you pretty much hit the nail on the head with that one. Mm -hmm. Because in my personal experience, I actually dropped out of college as well. Why? Because of the same reason, Mandy, because of math. They wanted, you had to pass that class in order to um, continue to move on to way your mail um, to do all your majors and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's like it was really hard, you know, and like every other subject I aced it, of course. But math is just I couldn't I couldn't do it. Math was the stumbling block. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. For everybody, math was yeah. the stumbling block. And that's even, why sometimes yeah. when these people, these school kids, some of them, especially the classmates we had, you remember a certain one that yes, we had. Yes. She yes. will sit there and brag about how the dog on math was easy and be like, but if it's so easy, why are you in this? Exactly. Class? Yeah, because me and Laura, me and Laura have such a history together. We went to almost two schools together. Pretty much, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, yeah. and we grew up with each other. We grew up with each other. We, we almost had the, we had practically the same classes. We got lucky. Right. Um, we got pretty lucky. <laughs> like, cause we, not all people are lucky to have the same class as their best friend. So, mm -hmm. we it's was like lucky. Rare. It's, it's totally rare. It's very rare. Uh -huh. But go ahead, sis. Like I know you wanted to continue saying. Anyway, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> like, like, like you were saying before, right? Mm -hmm. The whole thing in a nutshell is just that college isn't for everyone. And if you do want to go to college, then you gotta make sure that is something that you want to do, not you know just because someone pressured you or you think your parents could. Because yeah, I, I'll admit it. Like I'll say this: you can get all the degrees. You can get your bachelor's, social masters, whatever else and still not get the job that you qualify, you know, that you that you study for. Exactly. It's a prime example, especially now in this day and age. People can go to college, they can get this degree, that degree, this and that and that, and where they end up working at? In the fast food. Either in fast food or retail. Fast food, retail, or in most in cases, a home health aid, yeah. like me. I so, was a home health aid. I didn't pass college. I was close. But I didn't pass college because, again, it was math. Math has been my math. stumbling. Math has been the stumbling block for both me and Law. Yeah. So math is so freaking hard and difficult. That's why it pisses me off whenever somebody say, "Oh, that's so easy." It's not easy to everybody. Everybody no, don't not. learn as quick as the other person. They don't. And then, like going through the years and seeing that I could, you know, it was just it just felt like um, redundant. I kept trying and trying and trying and trying. Usually, I'm not a person to quit. But when I saw that I just wasn't grasping it and then it no longer, like colleges, it didn't do it for me anymore. So I said, you know what? I can't, I'm done. I don't think I, and then money wise, forget yeah. it. Exactly. Forget it. And then think about it. Look how backwards this world is. People who don't graduate college, you see them with the best jobs. But the ones who do graduate, they are still looking for jobs. How is that? Usually, like, one piece of advice that I have gotten, and it's the truth. Find something you're passionate about and go from there. Exactly. That's 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 exactly what I plan to do. I 
am still, of course, like everything comes in time. I'm still working on it and everything. Yeah. But I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get that that daycare job sooner or later. I'm yeah. working with kids and on the side do my writing. Yeah. That's my passion. That's my goal, and that's what I want to do. At least I have the goal that I know what I want to do. I'm not just sitting there like, oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Because I know I'm getting older. I can't be sitting here so far. I don't know. I know what I want to do now. It just has to come into action. You yeah, know? Exactly. But don't pressure yourself and force yourself to do it if you don't want to or you feel like it's not for you. You don't have to, and also don't feel like you're a loser. Oh, you're not. I shit get that way because you, not you know, you didn't. No, you're not. You're not. You're really not, so don't think that. Yeah. Everybody has a different path in life. They have to find their path. Yeah. Everybody's path is not exactly. going to be the same. This person go to college, great. This person don't go to college. It don't make you any less than the next person that did go to college. Exactly. So, yeah. And if you should decide to go to college, I'm going to leave you with this and then we're going to end it. If you should go to college, right, do it because you want to go to college. Because of the fact that you want to go, that you feel excited, you feel, you know, inspired to do so. Exactly. She just pretty much summed it up in a nutshell. Do it for you, yourself. not for nobody not else. Not to impress for nobody. You. Yeah. Exactly. So, you know what? I think this pretty much settles it here. You know what I mean? <laughs> so this pretty much. Oh, <laughs> she's going to war. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying right there. <laughs> So, <laughs> if you enjoyed this rant, and if it encouraged you in any way, shape, or form, which I hope it did, give it a thumbs up. Like, comment, and subscribe to Miss Delaine Amanda and Moonlight Butterfly Miku for more content. Thank you guys so much for watching. And that's the end of our rant.